What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to go over the T-Mobile Home 5G and gaming. I haven't really seen a lot of videos about this. So what I'm going to do is show you that gaming actually does work on this service. There's, there's, there's stories out there that, hey, it doesn't work or it's slow and all that. So I'm going to show you that it works. So we'll do the PlayStation 5 and then we'll also do the Xbox Series X and I'll show you online gaming uh, and show you what the NAT types are and all that. And so we're first going to try out the PlayStation. I will admit, the PlayStation console is very close to my router. My other Xbox Series X, that's a little bit further away from the router, but it's probably within 20 or 30 feet of my uh, mesh uh, router setup that I have. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So the first thing I wanted to show off is that I am connected to my router. Um, you can see Yoshi 5G is the name of my internet router setup. I, it says connected and it says signed in. So what I'm going to do is give you a test internet connection just to show you that everything connects and that the NAT type is very favorable for what I get. So type 2 uh, NAT type is favorable to do anything on here from downloading games, playing online games, and also chatting. So you don't have to worry about any of that. And I will show you the connection speed. I will admit connection speeds... That's 250 megs, which is great. Um, I do get faster on my phone and my computer and other devices as well. So uh, if the speeds don't match up completely with what you get on other devices, don't be too concerned with that. It seems like PlayStation and Xbox do tend to slow down their connection speeds, but that's plenty fast to do whatever you need to on here. And just to show you, I'm going to go into the PlayStation Store at this point and show you that if I click on something, it generally loads up for pretty fast, like Trek to Yumi. You can see it loaded up. I can uh, play, let's play a quick video here uh, and see, there you go, it loaded up. It's showing some uh, blood and gore and violence and stuff. And you can see it plays absolutely fine. Good resolution, it loaded up really quickly. I'm gonna back out of this. And next we'll go into another game. Why don't we go into uh, something a little bit more. Why don't we go in here? Why don't we go into Sonic real quick? This is, uh, I think, a new Sonic game that's coming out. I can click on this, that's a video. I didn't want to do a video. I wanted to do some screenshots. I think you hit uh, yeah, R1 and R2 to go back. So you can see all the screenshots. High resolution. They're not low or anything. So everything works great with going into there. Obviously, I could download a, a game fast on here. So I have my May monthly games here. I'll just click on this real quick. And I already chose some of these. So I will choose. I'll do the FIFA one real quick. I'm going to hit download. And it's now queued for downloads. I'll click on this to check it. It's calculating how long it's going to take. I think this game, did it say it was like, I think the game said it was, gee, I don't remember how big it was, 60 gigs or something like that. It was pretty big. I forget what exactly what it says, but you can see it's going to take about nine minutes to just to get to play it. And then about 30 minutes or so, a little more, a little less. Looks like it's going up now at this point, 40 minutes. So about 30, 40 minutes to download it fully to your console and be able to use it. And that's the PlayStation 5 uh, thing. So you can see everything's really, really fast. All right, so I jumped into a game of Fortnite. I'm gonna jump now. And hopefully, you know, you're gonna see nothing but flawless gameplay on here. I don't know where everybody jumps and there's a ton of action, so hopefully I can find some people in here. Otherwise, I will uh, kind of fast forward on here so that I can find some people because I know these maps are, uh, are pretty big. Press that into slide. Oh, whoa, someone's already shooting me. All right. I don't have a gun yet. This might be super quick, but so far it's running really, really well. That's the best part of this. Is this guy gonna get me? I literally have no gun. Oh, I can't sprint, low energy. Is there anything in here? Oh, I hear like a treasure. Oh, shoot. Oh my God. Oh, I beat them. <laughs> oh, is that a robot? It was probably a robot. Wow. That was so nerve wracking. You guys can tell me in the comments down below if that was a robot. I literally never played this game. Oh my God. Where is that person? Where is that person? Oh, I can hear another treasure. I know you guys can't hear it. I'm just gonna run out here, guns blazing. Oh, they got me. But you can see it ran beautifully, right? All right, now we are on 
the Xbox Series X. So I will go over to settings and then I'm gonna go over to uh, general network settings and I'm connected to my uh, my, my Wi-Fi network, IP, IPv4 and IPv6. NAT type is set to moderate. Double NAT detected. All devices are available or all services are available. So the NAT types aren't super great with this. Now you can get rid of the double NAT type um, if you mess with some of the settings. I believe if you turn off the wireless network on the gateway T-Mobile gives you and you, you use your own router, that potentially get rid of the double NAT. Um, but we'll show you what works here and what doesn't. I'll kind of do a similar setup here. And just to show you that I, they have remote play built into Game Pass. So I can enable a remote play and it does tell you some things to be uh, wary about, such as the NAT type moderate. Open NAT types make it more likely you'll be able to connect to your console. My upstream bandwidth is over 9 megabits per second, so it should be fine with playing that. Network latency is more than 60 milliseconds, so your game might be less responsive when playing outside your home. Network type wireless interface on your inter yeah, interference, I'm sorry, on your home network might get in the way of playing remotely. Outbound port is open and then everything else in the control and the console uh, settings is all set up to go. All right, so I am in, uh, in an online game of, uh, with uh, for, uh, Forza, Forza Horizon 5, I think this is. I've never played this game online. I played a little bit on my console, but we'll just see how it runs. You saw a player over there just a moment ago. I'm not even completely sure what I'm supposed to do here, but I just wanna show you guys that you can play online games and that generally, as long as you have a good connection where it, from T-Mobile and on your own network, that you shouldn't really get any lag or anything like that. Everything should be pretty smooth on here. Oh, whoa. Can I go up this river? The problem is it's gonna be able to try to find somebody else on this map. My gosh, I'm an awful driver. Horrendous. It's nice that you can drive through trees pretty much, though, except for these big bad boys. See, I'm not really seeing anybody else. But again, playing beautifully, no lag. Everything's running great. And I don't do the games I generally play on my Xbox, even though this is like a super powerful system, just like the PlayStation 5. I generally play a lot of kind of uh, easygoing games. I play Uno, I play this farming game, and Uno is online. I do play it online. Uh, but it's not going to be graphically intensive, and I don't have any lag issues with that. Even if you did, it's it's to the point where you know it'd be difficult to even tell because it's you know it's kind of a easy game to play. And then just to show you, here is a game on Roblox. Oh, this guy won't get off me. Um, and this is all online players. I, again, I just don't play a lot of competitive stuff on here, and I don't even really like Roblox, but my son likes it and he wants me to play with him. Uh, this game so we play it and you can see there's a bunch of animals running around nothing seems to be lagging or jittery or anything like that so online gaming for me has been great for what I've what I've done and downloading games and all that stuff so as you can see the games that I did show off ran perfectly fine didn't seem to have any lag didn't seem to have any latency issues with what I was playing now I'll admit I don't online game 24 seven a lot of the stuff I do is single player uh, or it's kind of jump in if you want, or it's like Uno or stuff like that. But the stuff that I have done has been perfectly fine. I haven't noticed any negative things that I would say about gaming on T-Mobile's home 5G internet service. Downloading games has been great. Um, navigating the stores, loading up things within the store like images and videos has also been really, really good. And it doesn't matter if I'm using this Xbox Series X, which is a little bit further away from my main router and setup, uh, or if it's just right next to it, like the PlayStation is, all of that's been really good. Now, I wasn't able to show you guys uh, me doing, going into like a group chat or anything, but when I have done that, I haven't personally had any issues have it beyond that, the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5. So if you're, you know, is this the best service for competitive gaming? Probably not, um, but is it good enough for almost 
most people to be able to play games and play with their friends and do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it, it's so cheap that even if it does work really badly for you or just not up to the expectations that you have, get rid of it. You're not locked into anything. You're not, not locked into any contracts. You don't have to buy any extra hardware. It's literally 50 bucks a month. You get your router modem, AKA gateway, and you're good to go. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.